I don't know about you, but one of my early childhood taste memories is a pizza muffin. And that's kind of what I'm making today. I'm using New York style Grecian Delight six inch round pizza breads for this recipe. And a flat bread, a ready flat bread. And the third one with a really special tomato paste and just some good toasted bread with olive oil. I'm starting with my first recipe, which is pizza round with a little bit of olive oil and really special Santorini tomatoes that are beautiful and plump and pretty close to the first tomatoes that the Spaniards actually brought back from America hundreds and hundreds of years ago. A little bit of extra virgin Greek olive oil just drizzled over the top of this. It's really easy to do this. You wanna use your hands to get a little messy and just squish the tomatoes over the top. It just calls for just a few tomatoes. Spread them out. What would a fancy pizza muffin be without a little bit of cheese? I'm using Greek feta for this. It adds a really nice tangy note. Fresh herbs go really well. I'm using thyme over this. Feta can be a little bit, I don't want to use the word aggressive, but it's sharp, you know, it's a cheese that you notice. And the thyme kind of sweetens it up. Just a little bit of black pepper. I'm ready for the next version of this, which also has a story. It's actually based on a really traditional Greek island dish called La Venia from the island of Milos in the Lesser Kiklades. It's basically a flatbread, almost like a focaccia, with a little bit of olive oil, oregano, and just tomatoes and onions right on top. It's sold in bakeries all over the island. I like to cut the onions on the thickish side because I, I actually like to feel them. I like the crunch and the flavor, that beautiful sort of like charcoal-y flavor that you get when you roast onions. You wanna just spread them evenly over the surface. It looks great. I like to use fresh tomatoes on my lavenia. Having my tomatoes, now you can use any tomato for this. Teardrops, cherry tomatoes, different color tomatoes, heirlooms, it all works really nicely. These are also going right over the top. A little bit of Greek oregano. Beautiful. Sea salt. Extra virgin olive oil right over the top. A little bit on this too, so it doesn't feel lonely. And I am going to get these in the oven under the broiler for about seven to 10 minutes. You wanna just keep an eye on them so they don't burn. For my third and final variation, I'm making something from the island of Santorini called Bertes, which basically means tomato paste. It's a spread mixed together with capers, Santorini tomato paste, a little bit of olive oil, and just spread over some grilled bread. Get a little bit of olive oil. It's really nice to use a good quality sourdough for this, something that adds another flavor dimension. I'm gonna just get a little olive oil in my grill pan. Now this Bertesme Capari, is the kind of thing you might find in a cafe in Ia, overlooking that amazing Santorini sunset, served with a glass of Assyrtico. It's all now part of the island's folklore. And now, the topping. I'm using this double concentrated Santorini tomato paste. The tomatoes that grow in that volcanic soil have a very unique Almost, there's almost a natural saltiness to them because there's so many minerals in the soil that they, they're really flavorful. Let me see what's going on with my bread here. Time to turn it over. You can obviously do this on a barbecue or under the broiler. 
I'm adding a few capers. And I'm just gonna get these chopped up so that they're a little bit easier to mix into the tomato paste. The brininess in the capers and that super sweet intensity in the tomato paste go really well together. Just a rough chop. You wanna feel the capers. And I'm just gonna mix this together with a little extra virgin Greek olive oil. It's so naturally thick that you really don't have to do anything to it. My bertes with capers is ready to spread on the grilled bread. This is really simple. It's the intensity of flavors in these two really basic ingredients, plus the olive oil that kind of marries them together. These smell great. Bread, cheese, tomatoes, herbs. The simple traditions of the Greek islands are a far cry from the pizza muffins of my youth. Topping is nice and juicy. Food this simple, to me, really speaks tomes about the importance of having great ingredients. And that's really what this is all about. I'm gonna cut this into six pieces and get ready for a feast of bread and tomatoes. Start with my Bertes first, just a little piece. See how that tastes. Mm. If the Santorini sunset had a flavor, this is what it would be. It is so intense and so elemental. Three ingredients, that's all you need. Doesn't get any simpler than that. Let me see if this transports me to being seven years old again. Mm. This is beautiful. The thyme is so sweet. The tomatoes are so nicely acidic, and the feta cheese adds that, you know, I'm Greek element to it. It is so good. This is my instant lavenia. Mm. I taste that Greek island, you know, saltiness and a little rough around the edges, rustic element that I think characterizes most of the food from these places. But this whole idea of bread, tomato, herbs, a little onion, a little feta cheese, these are marriages made to last. Thank you.